Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday morning in France. What do I do on a Sunday morning? I do Pilates. I'm in my studio where I write and sleep. So that's my writing bed and that's my sleeping bed. I don't have a mat. I don't have weights, but I do have to work out. So I thought today, instead of working out with Nicole, who I usually work out with since I got here, he's a Australian Pilates guru. I like her advanced classes very much because it kicked my ass. I thought I'd work out with you guys. So welcome if you're joining this video and thank you for coming. We're going to have limited abilities to do things because without a mat I can't do things like plank and so on. So I'm going to um, do the best I can on these blankets that slide all over the sort floor. So we're in our cross leg position. We're on our sit bones. You can take one leg out if you need to. And we're going to start our stretch. Take the arm out to the side and we're going to run into furniture. So do as I say, not as I do, and come over into a nice long stretch. This is your soft arm, this is your long arm. You're going to get a nice big stretch right here. Breathe into it and really pull. Now, looking at our line, we'll push back a little bit. Yeah. Beautiful. Grab your ear, keeping that arm there, and take it across. Feels pretty awesome. Mm. And then we're also to make it at the right, and then I go get your arm. All right, so your shoulder is forward, and your arms are to the side. Your legs are looking down. You want to lift both arms there, and then put it to the floor. The reaching, it's kind of a going to take a child pose right here. I'm doing a lot because writing is such a one position thing. All right, and then back to the lift, and then all the way over. Lower shoulders back, lower shoulders forward, and switch legs. And now that, exhale over to the other side. Soft it. Take a nice long. Good. Keep this back. There we go. Grab your ear and take it across. Get that alignment. And then you're going to go to the rotation. First, with one arm, then with both arms, and then take both arms down to the right. Got to keep, keep that cheek over there. There you go. All right, back to the side. And bring yourself all the way up. Inhale out. Exhale your arms together. Push the palms through. And open up the back. Put your hands to the side. Legs are out plenty on your toes, goes your right toes. Good job. All right, let's get ourselves onto the mat. I gotta get way right to the end here. Do a little side view. Lift up and curl yourself all the way down. All right. Feet are in front of your knees. You lift your glutes up, take them all the way down, moving your upper body up. Put your hands to the side. Let's kick our, I'm going to do this way. Let's kick our uh, position, hand on the belly. Inhale into the hand, and exhale down. Make sure you leave the room in that lumbar. It's your feet extension. So you're imprinting the top of those hips, the lower lumbar region. Inhale up, and exhale down. Abs uh, up under the ribcage, second and third quadrants. Simultaneous, right? Inhale and exhale. And again. And close the abs. Inhale up to the side and exhale again. Okay, we're going to start with a warm up. This is going to be a Pilates and stretch class. So there's going to be about, about 20 minutes of stretching at the end, about 30 minutes of Pilates. All right, right leg to tabletop and left leg to tabletop. Hold yourself up, keep your knees, sit one with a foot, put your hands at your side, touch down and up. Good. Nice. You've got it. Perfect. Keep going. I'm going to try to create the angle while you're doing that. Because I just sincerely don't have enough room. Good, keep going. Perfect. This will work. Yeah, keep going. 
Nice. Just touch down and up. Touch down and up. Nice. You got it. Eight more. Seven. Exhale back. Six. You got it. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Let's double time. Good. And remember, if you can't do your curl up, if you can't work between the legs, put your head all the way down. Don't do a halfway. That'll kill your neck. One on four, and three, and two, and one. Hold it here. <clears throat> Hands at the side. Now, we're going to do our inhale with our knees bent, our exhale with our legs extended into Pilates position. So, inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, ten. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, twenty. Inhale, two, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, thirty, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, forty, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, fifty, inhale, two, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, sixty, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, seven, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, three, four, eighty, inhale, two, Four, five, exhale, two, three, four, ninety, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, one hundred. Bring one leg up, double pulse, switch, double pulse, switch, double pulse, switch, double pulse, switch, double pulse, switch. Thank you for being patient with my investigating this. Eight more, good, seven, six, good job. Five, four, good job. Three, keep it pointed. Two, nice. And one. Bring those knees together and lower them down. Okay. So, it's very human to hear. We've had thunderstorms all night. So, it's like, but we're going to get a nice workout. So, I'm going to do one side, then the other. You're going to feel exhaustion on one side. That's intentional. So we're trying to get that workout done, but I will give you stretches in between my palms. So right leg to tabletop and left leg curl up if you can, point both feet. Let's start with the outside leg. Take it out and in. Good. Exhale in. Exhale in. So you're going right to tabletop, not to your chest. Good. Good. Exhale in. So make sure you, when you take it out, you're extending it. You're really feeling it go up. You're feeling it make this work. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Really lift. Eight. Pull that belly in. Seven. Good job. Six. Perfect. Five. Four. You got it. Three. Two. Two. And one, hold it up there. Now you're gonna take a little circle. Two, three, four, five, curl it, curl it, hold it. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 rows. One, two, three, really little. Four, five, you can see it's been a go. Six, seven, it's all working in here. Eight, nine, and 10. Move the leg in, side by side with the other one. Take it out and one. Don't let anything tilt and two. Out and three. Out and four. Out and five. Out and six. Out seven. Really feel it. Drop it out there. Okay, you keep the knee and the ankle in the same plane and the foot. 10, 10 more, 10, nice, nine, pull that belly in, good, eight, again, you can be down here with this, seven, you don't have to be in a curl up, six, I feel more protection in my back when I'm curled up, five, did you find out what's good for you, four, good, three, two, and one, put your hand, opposite arm behind your head, 
We're going to bring it across to get out and one. Out and two. Don't let your upper body drop down. Three. It stays at that curl up position. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Another rapid. Three. Two. Let's pause it. Let's go. Twenty. Nineteen. Eighteen. Seventeen. Sixteen. Fifteen. Forty. Thirteen. Twelve. Eleven. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Back to center. You can lower your head for this next part. Down my head. All right. Extend again. Same thing. Two. Three. Good job. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. So we're really pumping these hips. Ten. You can feel the fatigue, especially if you did the body sculpting class first. Ten. Good job. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, good job. Pull that belly in every time. Don't just like hold it in and hope it stays there. And one, now lift the leg right up, put the other leg down. Make sure your foot's in front of your knee. Curl it. Take it out and one. Extend and two. Extend and three. Now, one of the reasons I have your leg down rather in tabletop, because I think it's easier for to keep the glutes down five, but if you feel like you can do it and not tip over six, feel free to lift that leg. Seven. Again, you can have your head down eight. Nine. Make sure you hold it out there. Ten. Ten more. One. Two. Really let it work its way out. Three. Don't bounce it off the bottom. Four, exhale in. Five, exhale in. Six, good. Seven, eight, good job. Nine, and 20. Hold it there and then flex it. Little lifts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hold it there. Heel to the ceiling. Turn. So what you're doing here, turn, is turning your foot toward the floor, toes toward the floor. 6, 7, back to center. 8, make sure you see that. 9, 10, 1, 2, good job. 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, curl up, nine, and 20. Holding it down and lifting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those are down, nine, make sure you can see this. 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the foot to parallel. Bring it straight up, bring it down, and hug your knees. Take a nice deep breath here, and put both feet down. Okay. We're going to refill. Make sure you have yourself in position again. And then, now we go to the other leg. So, legs to tabletop, swing around. <laughs> this floor is so shiny, that <laughs> I can just slide, slip and slide. Okay. All right, legs are up. Curl them. Take it out and one. Out and two. Out, three. Exhale back. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, good job, ten, ten more, one, good job, two, nice, three, four, nice, five, six, perfect, seven, eight, nine, hold it out there on ten, that little circle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, reverse it, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, bring it in, take it out, and one, out, and two, out, three, four, good job, five, six, seven, keep curled up, eight, good, make sure the legs go to parallel, right, not too close to each other, ten more, ten, good, both feet are pointed, two, three, yeah, four, you want to feel that rotation, five, those obliques are working, six, seven, eight, nine, <clears throat> twenty, all right, let's add that rotation, so take it out, and one, take it out, and two, exhale, and inhale, four, inhale, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five. You can have this other arm out. Six, you would have to have them both up. Seven, I just feel no balance. Eight. Nine, let's pulse it. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Come to the center. Take it out and 1. Out and 2. Out and 3. 4. Big job. 5. Six, seven, eight, nine, good job. You've got ten more. Make it slower. Ten, I'm talking to myself. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, good job. Three, nice, two, and one. Lower your head down, lower your foot down if you want to. Take the leg straight up. Take it out and one. Out and two. Out and three. Make sure you stay even. Out and four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, good job, one, nice, two, three, you've got it, four, again, you can have the leg up or down, five, nice, head up or down, six, whatever works for your body, Seven, I'm not as straight as I used to be. <laughs> Eight, keep steady. Nine, good job. And ten. All right, let's go. I felt like I did that down there. I can't remember. Huh. All right, I know it's something with the flex. <laughs> Very sad. Hmm. Okay, keep yourself filled up. Get flexed. 
and lift under that relax and two relax and three relax and four five six seven eight no walking right nine ten good job ten nine Eight, good. Seven, six, good. Five, four, and three, and two, and one. Pulse up to one. Nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Jump right up and hug your knees. <clears throat> Put the legs down, drop them side to side. Good. Nice. Take a nice deep breath right here. Okay. All right. Legs are up, hands are behind the head. You're lifted, and we're going down to one side and up. Two. Legs are kind of close together. Four. If you can get them to touch all the way through, five. That's great. So it's inhale, exhale. Inhale down, exhale up. Nine. Ten. Ten more. One. Good job. Two. Pull that belly in. Three. Four, nice. Five, six, seven, eight, nice. Nine, and pulse it. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Now you're going to drop the other leg out as you come down. So it's going to be out and one. Out and two. Push and three. Push and four. Five. Six. Nice. So seven, so opposites, right? Eight. Make sure you stay in your curl up that you're going to the side. Nine. Don't drop into your hips. Ten. So you're looking between your thighs all the time. Two. Three, four, five, six, nice, seven, eight, good, nine, and hold it here on 20, then you're just going to press the leg down, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and we'll get up. All right, to the other side. Maybe the other side. <laughs> Lift up. One, good. Two, you've got it. Three, you stay looking between those thighs. Five, six, nice. Seven, hit that spot. Eight, good job. Nine, ten, ten more. One, Good. Two, you've got it. Three, four, five, six, seven. Keep looking through those thighs. Eight, nine, and twenty. Let's drop it. One, two, three, four. Don't drop your head back. Five. It's so easy to do. Six. Hands should be at the bottom of your head. Seven, eight, so don't push your neck. Nine, ten, ten more. Ten, nine, good job. Eight, seven, six, five, four, nice. Three, got it. Two, let's go. Twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen. 16, 15, 
And one, bring it back to center. Put your feet down, put your knees together, and your feet apart to feel the stretch in that hip. Those hips. Okay, let's do some curl ups. Take a nice deep breath right here. And another one. Just feel your body extending. So, what's really important, it's so deep in here at 8 to 100 minutes. Well, you know what? Thunderstorms and humidity, right? We start with a modified curl up. Roll up. You're going to reach on this one. So we extend, lift, and reach up. Take it across the top of your feet. Inhale up. And exhale all the way down, bringing those legs back. Big inhale, push through very softly. You don't have to yank it. Take it across. Take it up and curl it all the way down. Now, you could stay with that position, or you can go to this longer position. Right? So, and then we're going to add to it. We'll do four of these. So, inhale, take it all the way up without throwing. Take it across. Take it, lift, and bring it all the way down. Three more. Inhale up, take a lift, take it across, take a lift, and curl it all the way down. Last one like this. Inhale up, take your lift, take it across, take your lift. And bring it all the way down. Now we're going to add a teaser inside of it. Scary, right? I'll show you modifications. Don't worry. Inhale up. Take your lift. Take it all the way across. Now as you take your lift, you bring your legs up. Take your lift. And then bring it all the way back down. Now do the modified one next. Let's get down a little bit so you can see better. All right. Start with the legs. Everybody else, do what I just did. If you need a modification, here it is. Lift up, up. Take your lift, push your legs out. Go across. As you come back, bring your knees to bend. Then lift them up and then take them all the way back down. So that's how you do it with the modification. So inhale up. Take a lift. Take it across. And then as you come up to the lift, the legs come up and bring it all the way back down. And we'll do the modified one again. And now up, push through your lift, take it across, scoot your legs in and go into a lift and bring it all the way back down. Now you could hold behind those legs if you want to. So inhale up is our last one. And take it up, take it across, and we're going to hold the teaser. And lift it up. You can put your hands behind it if you want to and bring it up higher and higher and higher. There we go. Oops. Higher. Good. Bring your knees to your chest. Bring yourself down and drop those knees to the side. Lift them up and drop them to the other side. And bring them back to center. Okay. So into position. All right. Hot and a lot of box spreads. All right. We're going into a side work. Into pike. Tuck your hip under. Make sure your elbow and hip are in alignment or shoulder in alignment. If you can't do that, put your arms straight above your shoulder and rest your hand on your bicep. Make sure it's in alignment. That's the most important. All right, we're going to start with just lifting and lowering both legs. One, two, this is pike, so you should have some uh, range. Four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, 10. So pike means you're in the joint, right? And your hips tuck under, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. Lower it down. Flex to the front for two. One to two. Point to the back for one. One, two, two. One, two, three. One, two, four. One, one, two, five. One, two, six. One, two, really reach back there. Seven, that would be the one. One, two, eight. One, two, nine. One, two, ten. One, two, ten. One, two, nine. One, two, upper body's completely still. Eight. One, two, seven. One, two, six. One, two, five. One, two, four. One, two, three. One, two, two, one, two, one, lower it down. Lower it down in this open leg position. You're going to lift and lower. Two, three, don't get to hold it at the top. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, good. Two, three, good job. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. Hold it up there, hold it up there, hold it up there, hold it up there. Lift higher, higher, higher. Lift, 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 lift. And let it down. Flip over to your all right, hovering and practice. Belly buttons in the spine, legs up to the head and Take the right down. One, two. Inhale and exhale. Four. Inhale and exhale. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine. Hold it up here on 20, bring the elbows to the waist, and one. Down and two. Down and three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, good job, three, two, and one. Stack those hands, put your forehead on it, lift the lower your back, lift the lower your bottom leg, lift the bottom, bottom part of your body, lift. And one, lift, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, 
nine and 20. Keep your heels together, your legs are in turn out. So one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last ten, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hands under the shoulders and back into chest. All right, last thing is the other side. All right, let's get into a pike position. There we go. Lift both legs. Lift and one. Lift and two. Inhale and exhale. Three. Four, five, don't let him drop. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, don't get hold of that. Six, five, four, good job. Three, and two, and one, and lower it down. Now the top leg, flex twice, point. Two, flex. Three, you got it. Four, perfect. Five, remember you can be lying all the way down in alignment. Six, good. Seven, eight, nine, Ten, good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. Good. Left and lower. The legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to take the spot. I was going real fast. Eight, nine, ten, ten more. Ten. I think I found my camera angle. Nine. Took me both spots to figure it out. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one, and lower and down. Nice job. I know what I forgot to do on this one. I forgot to do that. Okay. All right. So let's bring ourselves up and we're going to go into a stretch. So the stretch is going to be longer than our usual stretch. So this can also work as a stretch class. So you might remember the number the tape where you are so that you can um, refer to it if you need to stretch. Okay, so I'm going to start in this Z position with double double 90s. So this leg is at 90 and this leg is at 90. And we're going to come down onto our elbow. We're going to stretch across to begin. Just let the whole side of the body reach out. So keep reaching your arm out because you just sit all here, you're not going to get like, all that you can get. So almost like you're going to take your arm down and as far away as you can. Keep it over your ear, one way. You can feel that happening in your hip. Okay. And then bring yourself up nice and slow. And you're going to grab that shin, just like we do in mermaid stretch. Take the arm straight up by the ear and then bend the bottom one to take the top arm over to its knee. Breathe into it. And bring the arm straight up. And then I want you to hinge forward. Keep your arm there, I guess. Wherever you can reach, 
without everything coming off the floor. You're gonna get a little bit of lift in the glute, but not too much. You're hinging in the hips. And then inhale and exhale yourself up. Put this arm behind you, and this other arm across, and go up to your side. And inhale and bring it back to center. So in this position, it's going to feel a little bit bigger on your back. Now face your knee, put your hands framing the knee, and then you're going to walk it forward, kind of like when a child comes over that knee. Walk it back in. Now, put this arm solidly into the ground, this arm overhead, and you're going to lift up and reach your upper body all the way up, and then bring it all the way down. All right, take those legs to your forward, and then scoot your glutes back, put your head over your tailbone, bring your knees to your chest. Put your chest on your knees. And then walk your feet forward. Take it up your shoulders. There we go. Inhale up. And exhale down. Now, leave your legs there. And curl yourself up. And drop those shoulder blades. All right. 90 degrees to the other side. 90, 90. All right, we're going to start with the elbow down, the arm coming across. All right, pushing, pushing, pushing through, make sure it's over the ear. Your face is facing forward, not up. Don't let yoga over the ear. Turn your head toward your stretches. Walking in parallel right now. Right. Slowly bring yourself up, grab the overhead and back. I don't have so little range of motion on this side compared to the other side. Maybe it will go. Bring it up and put it behind you. And this open spinal twist. Lift it up. And bring it back to center. Face your leg and up and down. Pull yourself up and solidly into the mat, and you're going to fold it. Bring it back down. Okay. All right, one leg all the way out into the straddle, the other leg all the way in if you can. I know a lot of people, this is a knee concern. Also, you want to make sure you're on your glutes, on your sit bones and not forward on your bottom centers. All right, we're gonna start by facing that knee again. We're gonna go down with our hands beside our legs, not forward, so just down hinge. Now sweep your arms behind you and lift them up. Then sweep them in front and come back into a light stretch. And then bring it back to center. You're going to rotate your body to the center, put your hands in front of your foot, and walk forward. And again, if this is hard on your leg, take your leg out and then take it all the way down, okay? Because I don't want you to sacrifice one body part for a stretch. That would be crazy. You know, you know. So you're not going to go very far here. I think go as far as you do when your leg is open. Breathe and breathe, eyes looking down, and flat hands and push off to long back. And then walk it in. Okay, and we rotate toward this side. We're going to curl down to this. So curl and walk it down. Yeah. You can use the leverage of pulling your leg to get your back. 
to the center, you're gonna go forward. So this is gonna be as far as you can go. And then walk yourself back. And then rotate toward the right, have a big curl, walk, curl, and then walk it forward. And then bring yourself up nice and rotate back to the center. And let's lower ourselves to the mat. All right. One leg up, the other leg up. Try to reach it toward your head. Stretching your back. And then back to right over the hips. Turn them out and hold them together in a pointed turn out. Flex the turn out. Lower the legs, grab them on the outside. And we have baby pose. Now, some people put their arms on the inside, which is fine. Basically, we're focusing on those hips. Move close in. Take them far out. Nice job. Pushing straight up with one leg down to the floor, cross the other leg over. All the way over. Take the knees up and take them toward the top leg. And then up and toward the bottom leg. Get that straight. Back to center and then switch sides. Move it up toward the top leg direction and up and toward the bottom leg direction. And back to center and put them on flat to the floor. You're going to lift yourself up into a bridge and hold it there. Come onto your heels. And then come onto your toes. And lower it down. You're going to lower that down. Put your hands beside your waist. Push yourself up the upper body. Walk your hands behind you. And then lift to reverse tabletop. And lower and reach forward. Okay, let's come around into tabletop. Hands under the shoulders, knees over the hips, rotating first. And then reverse, we're doing eight in case you're doing a different momentum now. You can take one leg and slide it back and push it over here. Slide it back in, take the other leg, slide it back, push it over here. 
Look when your arm is wider than the mat. And then bring your chest to one thumb, sweep it across the floor to the other thumb. Four times in one direction. And settle to the center, and then four times in the back. The arms do bend. And then come back to center. And help on your chin up. So, one more breath here. Tuck your toes in it. Come up into downward facing dog. And then push this out of the way. Walk your feet closer together. Get your dog a little more lifted. Push your heels down. Paddle through. Both heels down. We walk everything together. Keep that little bend in the knee, forward bend. Then onto the chin for flat back, and then curl up through. And here we are. We're going to do a rotation. Two, instead of washing routine, three, and four reverse. And two, and three, and four, lower down, other side, good. And two, and three, and four, reverse, one, and two, and three, and four, and here, take your circle. Two, three, four, just your hips, five, six, seven, and eight, reverse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, drop those shoulders down, and then wash your machine, we can't go without washing machine, right, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, come to the center, lead up, and down, two more up, and down, and last time. Thank you, everybody, for enjoying this with me. I hope you got some benefit from it, even though it's working on camera.